Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome George Burns and Gracie Allen. <laughs> Say, Gracie, uh, any news from home? <laughs> oh, yes, I just got a letter from my little niece, Jean. Ah, what'd she say? Well, she didn't say anything. She didn't phone. It was a letter. She wrote it. I mean, what'd she write? <laughs> oh, it's spring again, and my family is planning a backyard circus, just like we did when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, every year you kids used to put on your own circus. Oh, yes, of course. Admission was free, but only for the people who could afford it. Well, uh, that's because we're living in a, in a democracy. Oh, yes. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Anyway, my cousin Barney, well, he was a sword swallower. Oh, what a performance he put on. The kids would cheer as he stuck his sword four feet long down his throat. Could uh, Barney really swallow a sword? <laughs> oh, it's, don't be silly. It was a trick. You know the scabbard that the sword fits into? Yeah. Well, before the show, he would slip that down his throat. I see. <laughs> yes, so then when he put his sword down there, everybody, everybody thought, thought he was swallowing. All right, very good, very well. It's a shame to fool the public like that. Oh, but admission was free. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> and Uncle Otis, well, he was a strong man. Yes, yes. He'd come out in a leopard skin, and he would put big nails in his mouth, and he would twist them between his teeth until they would bend. That's, uh, that's quite a trick. Yes, but he looked awful ridiculous walking around with all those bent teeth. Well, it'd, it'd come in handy if he ever got a fruit of corn. <laughs> you live and you learn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Aunt Gertrude. Well, she was the snake charmer. And Gertrude, the, the one who was nearsighted. Yes. Yes. Oh. Well, she had a little snake, uh -huh. and she was supposed to put it in a basket yeah. and blow on a flute until the snake stuck its head up. What do you suppose happened Saturday afternoon? She put the flute in the basket and blew on the snake. Wasn't that awful? Yeah, well, <laughs> that, must have, uh, that must have upset her. <laughs> she that she wasn't a real snake. It was just a few worms tied together. <laughs> well, that's better. Now, who else was in this uh, sideshow? Oh, oh, a big hit was, was Aunt Clara and Uncle Harvey. Yeah, what was, uh, what was their rap? Half man, half woman. <laughs> Didn't that leave two halves left over? No, they both got into one costume. Uh, now, uh, now I took the picture. Josie wasn't a picture, they did it in person. Uh, I see. Now, uh, what, uh, what, uh, who, what was your uh, routine in this set? Uh, oh, me? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was the lion tamer. You were a lion tamer. Yes, I was. Uh, yes, I was. Of course, I, I used our house cat. Oh. Yes, yes. For two weeks before the show, I taught her all sorts of tricks. To sit on a pedestal, to, to roll over, to play dead. Well, that sounds like a pretty smart cat. Well, she was. But when she got in front of the audience, she forgot all her tricks and just had kittens. <laughs> that must have caused a sensation. Oh, well, it did, but what good was it? The silly cat wouldn't do it again for the second performance. <laughs> Say good night, 